Hi, welcome to CSCNA. In this video, we are going to learn about the waterfall model and its phases or the stages that are used to develop a software system. Waterfall model introduction. Before going to know what is the waterfall model, let's take a look here that this is the waterfall where water is flow from top to bottom. Here water comes here and after passing these stages or the mountains, it's come through here. So here we see that uh, the water follow in a systematic way. Waterfall model introduction. Waterfall model is uh, first and a simple model of the SDLC. It is very quite easy to use and it is also called the linear sequential life cycle model because it follows a sequential approach to complete all the stages to develop any software systems. And in the waterfall model, the development process look like the flow or the moving steps from one to another or the step by step process through the phases. And it is quite easy to use and it is best for the short term projects. But it is not suitable for the complex and the object oriented long term projects. It calls waterfall because its uh, stages are follow the same approach as the waterfall. That is the top to bottom. And here is the waterfall model phases. The first phase of the waterfall model, model is the requirement analysis. In the requirement an analysis, the requirement, all the requirements are collected here and the well analyzed for the actual development of the system system software system and when the requirement is well organized and collected then the system design is performed and in this design on the basis of the requirement the system is designed and when design is completed then it's to be code and when designing and coding is actually Design and coding is completed, then the next stage is to be performed that is implementation. Implementation is basically the implementation of the software system into the real environment. And on the basis of the environment, the testing is performed that is the software product meet the user requirement or not, and what kind of problems it might occur into the running environment. And when all these phases are completely done, then the last stage is the deployment. Deployment is the way to live the project, the software project into the real environment. Or when the software is run, runs well and any kinds of problems is occurred, then the last stage is maintenance is to be performed. On. Maintenance is used to make any modifications or the changes into the system to work smoothly. So in this video we have learned what is the waterfall model and what kind of stages it used to develop a software system. Thank you. Thanks for watching.